Hello! Hi everyone! Hello Welcome, Welcome to, to <laughs> Friday with, with Friends! And Joe. And Joe. Friday and Joe. with Friends and Joe. Well, Joe's our friend, so. Joe, so truly, it's Friday with Friends. <laughs> See what we did there? Friday with Friends is our opportunity to share what's going on in the market, any answering any questions you have so that when you have any real estate needs, hopefully you'll think of us as your realtor of choice. So today we are talking all about this $15,000 grant. I know, so cool. There's a new New York State grant that's coming out um, and Joe will give us all of the details. Um, we're still a little bit far away from the rollout date, but we wanted to really get the ball rolling on it so you guys are educated and mm -hmm. can, you know, really start digging into it. So it's yes. super exciting. We have lots of information, actually so much information that that's why we wanted to bring on yeah. Joe here because we didn't want to miss anything because there's a lot of a lot of places that are key details, but it's also kind of simple too. So we just want to make sure you got it straight from the source, our loan officer expert here. Um, quick reminders, if you are watching this live, feel free to comment, ask any questions. We want to yes. hear from you. Say hi when you hop on. Hi to everybody tuning in. Thank you guys so much for being here. We had a little bit of an earlier slot time slot today, so thanks for joining us. Um, but then the second piece too is if you're watching this later, use hashtag replay if you have any questions just to make sure we don't miss you. And yes. share this with your friends. The whole overarching theme with how we do everything is we want to educate you so that you, your friends, your family, whoever has any real estate needs is educated to make the best decision for yourself. So the more we educate, we feel the better equipped you are to make the right move and be happy with all of your real estate decisions. For sure. And if you're ever going to share one of our videos, this is it. Share this one because I don't want to get, can I give it away? Do it. Can I? Do it. So the new New York State grant, drum roll, please. Fifteen thousand. You already said dollars. that in the beginning. We did. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Up, up to up fifteen thousand. See, this is why we bring Joe because we're like fifteen thousand dollars. We're, like, <laughs> we're like we're like Oprah. You get fifteen thousand. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's up to up so to. so. It's pretty cool. So definitely share this with friends, family, coworkers, because it's a great opportunity to really have a lot of money going towards your first home. Mm -hmm. So exciting. now let's bring Joe in here. Joe. Hi, so, Joe. Welcome. Hi, Joe. Hello, thank you for having <laughs> so tell us a little bit about, um, about your background. How long have you been in this business? And, um, you know, what's your, what's your structure and how do you, how do you run your business? Absolutely. Uh, this is my and you can talk in there sorry. too. Sorry. No, it's awkward. We're <laughs> not. That's fine. This it's is hard. my eighth year in the business. I'm a GRB mortgage on South Winton Road here in Rochester. Um, I've really built my business working with first time home buyers, especially, mm -hmm. um, also with these very new, very fresh first home club grants that have been huge, helping home ownership really be driven in the Rochester area. So yeah. for me, it's all about working in Monroe County. Um, and the surrounding counties. Yeah, and that's what's so important to us is, you know, he talks so much that a lot of people, when they're doing business, it's like we've always worked with a lot of younger people, and now we're to the point where as we're growing our business, we still have that mentality of that first-time home buyer that we really want to make sure we're taking care of and educating, and that's why we really appreciate that. So awesome. For sure. So um, I know a lot of people hear the first-time home buyer program, and they think of 10 months you know, $7,500, New York State, restrictions, classes, right. things like that. Can you tell us a little bit about why New York State is making the shift? Exactly. So current program called First Home Club, it's $7,500, saving for a 10-month period. Well, here's what happened. Last year, there was a 64% fallout rate, meaning wow. we had something like 44,000 people enroll in the program in New York State, and only 16,000 used the program. Wow. wow. Yeah. Because you have two years to use the plan, life happens. People move out of state, get married, yeah. other variables. Mm -hmm. So the intent of the new program is to help someone who's looking to buy a home now, meaning has a live accepted offer. Got it. So the intent, again, is to help those that have already identified a property and they want to use the grant funds now. And it's so funny because we would meet with clients and they'd be like, yeah, we're 10 months out. That's fine. But then they get into it. And over the course of the 10 months, they're like, well, I'm paying rent for 10 months. Right. And if I'm paying a rent that's $500 a month over that course, I'm either, I'm, yes, I would be earning that money, but I would also be giving it away in my rent. So there were real conversations mm -hmm. when he said like that 10 months, as much as it was, um, I think the intent was to show New York State you could save. Right. To, that was right. the goal. It actually made it so it wasn't that that wasn't the outcome, and that a lot of people didn't take advantage of it. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a a high percentage of fallout rate. So I'm mm -hmm. sure New York State was saying, "Gosh, we're putting all of this money aside, exactly, and not 
no one's using it or, you know, there might be saving, which is great, but they're not actually utilizing it. So they probably found that it might be easier just to make it a quicker process. Exactly. So this is going to be hopefully the new way moving forward. Yeah. So just, tell us about it. Tell yeah, us so about the new program. Exactly. So the new grant, so again, up to, <laughs> um, to. $15,000. And here's the rundown in terms of requirements. Number one, a one year full time work history. Full time is defined as at least 32 hours of work per week on average. If you're self-employed, you're automatically considered full-time. So that's huge. What? Full-time, huh? automatically. You see why we brought him? <laughs> We're like, you didn't know that. That's <laughs> okay, great. That's great. <laughs> Additionally, the savings plan is no longer. Now it's having $1,000 to invest in your home purchase to be able to use this grant. So $1,000 in your account right. is what you need to be so able to show So it's $1,000 to be contributed towards the purchase, whether it's your good faith deposit, your home inspection. Oh, wow. Okay, got it. Your contribution financially to making the home So purchase. no more 10 months. Correct. No savings Neat. period. See ya. Gone. Goodbye. Nice. <laughs> uh, also, like the previous program, there will be income caps based on household size. The general rule of thumb in Monroe County is if you're a one or two person household, the cap is $62,000. For households of three or greater, it's about $72,000. Which is, is nice. It's sometimes tough when yeah. it's, you know, that income limit is, is low, but the fact it's high is so much opportunity, and, especially for families. And it's always moving upwards. So in 2016, it was 57000 Right. It's jumped five grand in the last So that's years. more than just your basic inflation. They're starting to recognize that they want, they want to give this money away from the sounds of it. Yeah, that's really neat. Now, did it go up from... You know, this time last year, has it increased as well? Yep. So it okay. moves. It was fifty-seven thousand ish. I want to say three years ago, went okay. to fifty-nine. Now it's sixty-two. Yeah, that's so awesome. That's huge, and it's only going up as income increases. Uh, right. Inflation in the area. We're only seeing yes. an upward trend here. So that's, that's great. great. So if we're, if we, if you are out there, if we have a, a viewer out there that's saying, "Man, I really want to know," what would the first steps be? Absolutely. First step: pre-qualification. That would be vetting out your credit, income, assets, uh, debt, of course, mm -hmm. and figuring out what you qualify for for a mortgage. Um, second huge piece with the program is taking a home ownership course, education course. I hear that's pretty awesome, though. It's pretty good. People so, feel like it's actually yeah. good to sit there and to exactly. listen so, to it. So at first, people hear, oh, it's six hours, that's so long, mm -hmm. but you learn so much. There's yeah. usually a realtor present, a loan officer, an attorney, yeah. possibly a home inspector. Mm -hmm. And it's really the crash course in home ownership. Yeah. So and we've, kind of, we've taught that before. Awesome. Our team has it, yep. you know, some of the local banks. I mean, obviously we're so good at teaching it, so it's I a would, joy. I would love to listen to us for a full hour. <laughs> Nice. No, people are like get off get off no I'm just kidding but there's also hi everybody the, that's tuning in thank I know. you there's also the online version too Correct. so exactly. that's that's super easy and I think you know kind of going back to your first step of pre-qualifying and calling a loan officer it's just knowing that you know definitely reach out to our team so we can connect you with someone that you know we know also offers this program because not every bank every mortgage company offers it correct correct okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. So it's good to be able to to know your options. So for us, the program's not starting until July. Mm -hmm. So we're, I mean, we're almost into April, which is crazy. So I guess what crazy. we're halfway. Happy Ides of March. It's also our dad's birthday today. Happy, Happy birthday, 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 Jeff! Dad. Friend, if you see him out about, <laughs> you see him out there. Um, so it's it's March fifteenth. I mean, so early July is when we're expected to have that rollout. The reason why it's important to get pre qualified now to see if that you if you can qualify is so that you can make some decisions. Mm -hmm. If you say the, the worst thing that we feel could happen is if you don't know about this and you purchase your home and it closes in the next two months or you're, you're, you could wait just a few more months and make $15,000 up to up to. $15,000 <laughs> that you could you could be able to save that money. So that's why we're sharing this now. Yes, it's early, but mm -hmm. if you can go and get pre-qualified, you can create that game plan. And that game plan might be, hey, we, we just actually yeah. want to buy now. It's not going to make a difference. We really want to just get settled in our home versus, hey, if I waited a couple months, I could, I could be able to take advantage of this. Program. Right. And now, so what does it look like for those, as we're talking about kind of this transition period, that we're right. in right now. What does it look like for those people that are already enrolled or they want to, you know, buy quickly? What is what does that look like? Absolutely. So if you're in the program already, you're still able to use the program at seventy five hundred dollars. Um everyone who enrolled has two years to buy from that initial um enrollment. So that dates. doesn't go away. You're so that's still not in changing. It. So no worries guys, if you're in the program now at one of the local banks, 
you're good. You're getting your money. <laughs> you're good. getting your money. Good. <laughs> so there's now this kind of dead period between the existing program in July, but as you mm -hmm. reference, it really is becoming pre-qualified and preparing yourself for a home purchase. So for example, kind of the, the banker type stuff, looking at credits, mm -hmm. let's say it's a little lackluster, we can now kind of prepare you Perfect. and Great increase point. your scores between now and say the beginning He must of watch our Friday with friends where we talk all about how it's never too early yeah. to start. This was a bucket list item for me. He's beginning on Friday with friends. He's a bucket list! So check it out. <laughs> yes. Check. Yes. <laughs> yes, sorry, keep going. Yeah, so you I was are, interrupting. So you are protected being in the existing program. For the new program, there's still a lot of unknowns, but right. again, just those initial steps, taking the home ownership course, speaking with a banker, are the right steps right now. And of course, mm -hmm. if you'd like to buy now, there's also other grants available. Other grants available depending on where you'd like to live, possibly where you work. Mm -hmm. So there's other different grant funds hanging out there for your mm -hmm. situation depending on where you stay. That's a great point. Yeah, we so we do a lot with Pathstone here in Rochester and they have some great programs, whether you're at U of R. So this isn't just the only grant that's out there, it's just the new one. So if you are considering grants, we should probably bring somebody in from Pathstones to talk about it yeah. too, because there's so many other ones besides this. So that's a great point. So let's say, so pretend we're in July. Walk oh, us through. Sunshine, <gasps> oh, warm weather. All right, is everyone there? Do we I'm have like, a visual? I'm already <laughs> not putting jackets on my kids. Yeah. And daycare's like, hey, did you bring a jacket? I'm like, it's 40. Why does he need a jacket? <laughs> it does feel like summer today, though. It, it so does. totally it does. does. So let's pretend we're in July and we're ready to go. What will that What will that look like? So you said we can't officially apply for it until we have an accepted purchase offer. Correct. Take us there. So fast forwarding to July. Let's say now the grant is available, meaning it's opened up to be used. Mm -hmm. um, someone has an accepted purchase contract. Once they apply with their banker, there's now a 15-day window for the state who offers the grants to approve those grant funds. Then from there, you have to close on that property you've purchased within 120 days. So you have a good four-month window from the time the grant's approved until you actually have to close on the property. But, you know, with a standard closing being about, you know, 60 days, that's still a target for these buyers. Absolutely. What's going to happen is as the individual applies or the couple applies for the mortgage, there's that 15-day period, which so much already happens in those first yeah. two weeks of the process, maybe a home inspection. We're still getting inspections done at that the point. The appraisal is mm -hmm. being, you know, Order occurring, order. plus reports coming back to us. Mm -hmm. So we're not adding any time to the process, mm -hmm. which is great news. Yeah. Because we want awesome. buyers to be competitive in this marketplace and not be penalized for using a grant of this magnitude. And you could probably speak to that. So and in representing sellers, if we have someone that comes in with a grant, what that typically meant was delays, it, it was going to be delays. Mm -hmm. So the fact that all of that application and approval is happening on the front end, it's not be it's not happening at the back end in the eleventh hour when we're like just waiting for that final piece to get it approved. Yeah, that's that's awesome because most of the time you see potential delays, you know, and it's not happening until right before closing and there's right. that risk now with it all happening up front, that's great. And there's no extra like inspections or anything like that. It's really just applying, taking the class, getting the money. <laughs> You're a pro, right? exactly. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> and you nailed it. It's firming it up at the beginning okay. of the process so that way there's no delays or no extended mm -hmm. closing periods and keeping buyers ultra competitive. And the challenge that when Joe first presented this to our team, the challenge with, with Leslie, with Lissa, with Abby, when we were all talking is we are seeing that this market ahead is intense. We are already seeing lack of inventory. If you are a seller, please call us. We yes. would love, we have so many buyers, <laughs> please. But there is such this lack of inventory right now that we are still seeing multiple offers. We're not sure if it's going to be as crazy as last spring, but it's gearing up to be very similar that if you are bringing an offer in a multiple offer situation, Situation that has a contingency like this, you really need, you, you can't compete. Right. So, or ha, that has a contingency of a grant that has a potential for delays, you can't compete. Yeah. But when you're coming in with a grant that people know is solid, it's not going to cause delays, we can compete and get the 15000 We do. Yeah. So that's, that is huge. So it's not just, oh, mm. it's not going to be delayed. That has intense positive impacts when we're going to be into a market that yeah. we expect to see this spring. Can I... Go on a tangent. Always. Really quickly. That's a first. <laughs> Joe, killing it already. <laughs> Man, you're like, I love this. Um, what were we talking about? Inventory. So the numbers actually just came out for the first quarter, and mm -hmm. inventory is down this year compared to last year. Even more? Even more. So year over year, which is crazy. So we're definitely, you know, 
if you're thinking of putting your house on the market, maybe talking about it, definitely give us a call and we can chat about that total tangent, but really important for people to know, you know, this crazy market that we're going to expect. Definitely. Abby loves her numbers in case you can't tell. She's like, data, Look data. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. awesome. Oh. Hi, Mike. So, so yeah, so that's it. Is there anything else that we didn't chat about that we think is important to talk about in terms of this grant, Joe? Preparation, preparation, preparation. We love that. There's still many unknowns, but we do know the basics. And again, it's so important to really set the stage for yourself to be ready to use this great program when it does go live. Mm -hmm. Hopefully July 8th. State program, you never know if it's going to be on time, yeah. but mm -hmm. at least let's let's work that way as if it is coming out that time. And, and the key is, is you don't know what you don't know yet. There, it, It's no harm if you reach out and, hey, this isn't an option that works. Or you reach out and you're like, I don't even think I'm going to use this grant. Or you reach out and you're like, I'm actually not even going to buy. Like, it doesn't <laughs> matter right now. If you are even considering it, reach out and then there can be time if you're a little bit lower on your credit, if we need to work on some other things. It's, this, it's the best time is now. Oh, wait, are you guys ready for this? Oh, no, gosh. No. <laughs> Joe and I are nervous. <laughs> When's the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago. Uh, When's the second best time to plant today. a tree? Today. 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 Uh, <laughs> you had that one in your back pocket for a while? I've been saving it. No, I just, that's what this is about, yeah. is start, start now, we'll at least be able to see. You have so many people on your side that want to help you get this money that it's it really will set you up so that you can do so much more, whether it's improvements in your house to be able to have more no. equity, whether it's to take your family on vacation to us, this 15,000 doesn't just mean it's going into the house. It means a lot for you as a person and for your family. And that's why we're so passionate about this and what we do every day. Yeah. You could go on many vacations for $15,000. A lot of vacations. So many vacations. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys so <laughs> much for you. tuning in to Friday, Friday with Friends. friends. Again, Friday with Friends is our opportunity to share what's going on in the market, answering any questions you may have so that if and when you, your family, coworkers have any real estate needs, you will think of us as your realtor of choice because we would love the opportunity to help you. You can find more about us on friendonyourside.com. It's our website. Or visit us on our Facebook page, Friend Team Real Estate. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>